here is a synthesis problem. So many of the reactions that we have seen, we can have the, uh, say, reactants in good products. We need to find reagents, which is this case. And, and when doing that, we'd be planning the synthesis. So we want to make this. So what reagents do we need? So let's analyze that changes in reactant and products. So I see, yes, a new functional group. But also I see one more carbon. That group is intact, the same. So I need to have all the changes happening here and not touching that. So because I have one more carbon, I can't imagine doing green yard. Uh, but green yard, remember, if you have uh, some alkyl magnesium bromide and you have a ketone, uh, you will have, um, let's say, positive, this negative. You will have that nucleophilic attack. But I cannot use green yard, make a green yard here, so do magnesium, because that could attack another molecule of the same, can do that. So to prevent that from happening, I need to protect this functional group. So the first step that I'm going to do is protect that, and then figure out how I'm going to introduce that. So step one, I'm going to add ethylene glycol. And this is acidic conditions. What I'm doing here is forming a cyclic acetal. So that is this one. And we know that the acetals are stable under basic condition. This will hydrolyze back to the carbonyl under acidic conditions. But reactions done under basic conditions will keep that the same. So now that I have protected that, I see, okay, I need to add one more carbon. So I can do um, add magnesium here and use dry diethyl ether, for example and make the Grignard region this. So again, all of that I can do because I'm not working under acidic condition. So the MH acetal here is stable. And here I will do MGBR. We know that changes the polarity of the bonds. So that will be, we can say this is positive and this is negative. But what would be the molecule that I need to use uh, to attack with the green yard if I need to add one carbon? So that molecule is carbon dioxide. Let me do the negative charge better here because um, it doesn't look so good. So um, mm. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm trying to make this better. It's just that I drew it too small. So now I know that I need to put one more carbon. So again, I can use carbon dioxide. Say it dry ice. Carbon dioxide, CO2, that's a structure. So I'm going to have a nucleophilic attack over that carbon. Same as the same way I do that. And when I do this, then my product, let's throw it over here. Under, again, I'm not adding any acid, so be still there. It is stable. And all I'm doing now is I have attack here. So I have made a new bond between this carbon and that carbon. That's a bond. And here I will have O negative here. In carbon. That's actually the um, conjugate base of the carboxylic acid. So I can do in one step, I can add acid to protonate the acid and hydrolyze the uh, cyclic acetal back to the carbonyl. Remember that we said this step is reversible under acidic condition. So what I'm doing here is adding the proton here to I uh, recover my carboxylic acid and hydrolyzing the ester. So in here I have that product that I wanted to make. So after the acetal hydrolysis, and this is 
after I had quaternated. So um, there is a, a other things that we can um, maybe do here. Um, say that I wanted to, um, once I have that, reduce this and have another alcohol. Um, say, um, say that I want that. I'm going to, I want to synthesize this. But I could do so if I again need to protect that and then reduce only the carboxylic acid. So to go from here to here, I could do first, and I'm just going to write the steps. Uh, step one would be reacting with ethylene glycol in acidic conditions. That will protect the carbonyl and will protect the carbonyl of an aldehyde or a ketone, not of a carboxylic acid. And then in the step two, I am going to use an excess of lithium aluminum hydride, and that will reduce the carboxylic acid to the alcohol. And I need to add the step three to deprotect. So um, go from the cyclic acetal to the aldehyde. So these would be the steps if I wanted that. So um, several uh, functional group interconversions that we can do, but again. Uh, what I was doing here was using the strategy of protecting this functional group to do other things. In the first case, I needed to form the acetal and to add a carbon. In doing so, I'm creating the carboxylate. And in the step that I add the acid, I protonate the, car the carboxylate and hydrolyze the amyacetal. And also, we can write from these step right there is protected, I could do the excess of leaching aluminum hydride, reduce the carboxylic acid, and then use acid. And if I do that, I will go here. So I will be reducing the carboxylate to primary alcohol and then hydrolyzing the acetal to the um, uh, aldehyde that I had originally.